Hello, this is Dr. Scott Mosser, a gender surgeon at the Gender Confirmation Center in San Francisco, California. Today, I want to talk about a fairly well-focused procedure, which is the nipple reduction procedure, which can be performed as part of a top surgery, original surgery, or as a revision down the road. It should be noted that a nipple reduction is virtually never necessary as part of a double incision procedure or after that procedure because the double incision procedure itself reduces the projection of the nipple as part of the nipple grafting process. However, for the procedures that do not involve free nipple grafting, it's possible for the nipple to remain very projected and be something that we would want to address at that time or later as part of a revision. There are two main procedures for nipple reduction which are relatively easy to describe. These procedures are called the circle flap and the fish mouth. Note that this is very different from the term fish mouth which is used for one of the top surgery procedures that's available. But because of the way the incision is designed, it has the same name. The reason one would choose one nipple reduction procedure type over another would be a couple of things. Number one, how much control one desires over the flatness of the nipple. And uh, for the other procedure, how, how much one desires to try to maintain the sensation of the nipple. The circle flap will maintain a very reliable degree of flatness and reduction in projection, while the fish mouth procedure will usually maintain a bit more sensation to the actual nipple itself. The fish mouth can also be used to maintain more projection if the patient wishes to have nipples that still project to some degree. These procedures are fairly easy to describe. For the circle flap procedure, the base shape and diameter of the nipple is measured, and then a circle of the same size is drawn on the side of the nipple. After injection with local anesthetic, the intervening tissue is removed, and this upper circular flap is then folded downward and secured in place with small dissolving stitches. The fish mouth nipple reduction procedure, on the other hand, involves designing a central wedge of tissue in the nipple to be excised. If you look at this from the side, it appears to be a little bit like a fish mouth in its shape. This tissue is then anesthetized so there's no sensation, and this wedge of tissue is removed, and then simply the skin edges are sutured together. Uh, so you can see this result might have a bit more projection than with the circle flap technique. That's it for this very short video. Hopefully it clarifies a few things about the very simple and straightforward nipple reduction procedure. For a bit more information on this or any other aspect of gender, chest, or body surgery, please click on this link, or certainly you can reach out to us for a consultation to learn more directly from us. Have a great day.